सो गाइज वेलकम बैक वेलकम बैक टू साइंस इज बेडरूम एंड टूडे नॉट साइंस इज बेडरूम सॉरी या मेकिंग दैट मिस्टेक अगेन सो कैप्टन पर ऑक्साइड एंड टूडे आई एम गो गो टू येट सम अदर म्यूजियम्स फर्स्ट आई गेस टू द जर्मन हिस्ट्री म्यूजियम एंड देन टू द गेमोल्ड गैलरी दैट इज द पेंटिंग गैलरी सो गॉट अ सी वॉट आई डू या सो आई कीप यू पोस्ट this is yet another music round um museum round i don't know what's happening to me today but yeah so this is yet another museum round so if you don't want to like i am sure you want to see it but if you don't want to see it skip the parts but yeah this is yet another vlog yet another mu- museum round So guys I am currently going towards the Deutsche Geschichte Museum or, or the German History Museum so yeah my face is getting a bit black here because yeah it's a bit cloudy today so yeah I'll be going first to that museum and then I'll be seeing where to go next because I already have a one day card for this so let's see yeah So guys, uh, today since it's uh, Saturday, uh, there there has been a flow market also beside me. If you can see the market, so this is the kind of flow market I was talking about in the Halloween vlog, and yeah, you can get a lot of paintings here, uh, a lot of um, garments here, gloves here, books, um, memorabilia. So it's nice, yeah, and it's only there for the weekends. guys that was the deutsches historisches museum and on the first floor they kept um, artworks and exhibits uh, from the post world war 2 era and on the on the top floor they had this uh, exhibit um, like of of the painters and the, of the sculptors who were the chosen ones you know, you know in the nation, national uh, socialism era or the nazi era during world war 2 and uh, yeah like And that floor basically exhibited the artworks during that era as well as uh, of the era just after the world war 2 and these um, these painters were free to paint anything uh, what they wished for so yeah it's a um, it was it was a nice a nice one like um, the uh, both the exhibits were nice and so onwards 
uh, i'll be here for a few minutes maybe an hour or so uh, to 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 check out what else there is here in <laughs> near the museum itself and after that most probably i'll be going to the gemold gallery or the paintings gallery so let's see i'll keep you all updated yeah you all will be knowing anyway so let's see yeah going towards the Annie Frank uh, centrum let's see yeah so i'm crossing the spree river right now and you can really see it at the back of me so i'll be moving uh, to the Annie Frank centrum right now so yeah let's see That was the Annie Frank Centrum. Now I'll be moving towards the Gemold Gallery, and now I'm in Potsdamer Platz, which uh, you can already see behind me. Um, it's a big place, but then we have to walk a bit to get to um, the Gemold Gallery, and from there <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I'm on. You know, I'm making a checklist of all the museums I am seeing. So yeah, and Potsdamer Platz is huge, man. with these big big buildings and yeah so onwards to the gemold gallery yeah Oh, oh, oh. 
so guys i'm out of the gemol de gallery and as you have seen uh, there i have there are paintings of Rem, like by rembrandt by uh, Bot botticelli by bellici so it's it's a it's how should i say and it, it, it's a very big collection firstly uh, there are around uh, more than 3500 paintings here and also it's the world's largest collection for dutch paintings yeah it has more dutch paintings that than denmark itself so yeah nice one and also in at the back of me i don't know in this building is the neue national gallery the one that we saw earlier was the um, alter national gallery the neue one is not very big it uh, features some modern art but um uh, my friends were telling me not to visit it because it just has one floor and um, you know it doesn't have those classical or neoclassical paintings so I I spend most of the time here in the Gemolda gallery which had more you know renaissance um, era paintings and yeah you know and um, yeah now I'm heading back to um, first I'll be heading back home and then I'll be seeing which Museum is open at, late at night. Possibly the Deutsches Espionage Museum is open at night. I just need to check once and then I'll come back to the Deutsches Espionage Museum. So bye bye till then. So now, guys, I've uh, refreshed myself, uh, myself, yeah, and um, I'm going towards the Deutsches Espionage Museum. So yeah, it's a late night museum, like it'll be open till night, so why not at night? second day of the museum trip and yeah let's see where we go today but probably we'll be going to Dahlemdorf in Dahlemdorf there are three uh, museums that I wanted to see so yeah let's go yesterday was damn good you know in the Gemolda gallery I got the chance to uh, see paintings by Rembrandt paintings by Raphael paintings by Botticelli so it's a different thing and also in the Deutsches Historisches Museum I got to see a painting by Pablo Picasso so so much in one day I don't know so let's expect more today or maybe less but let's see yeah
guys that was the museum for europeisha culture and that is the museum for european cultures and it had a special exhibition so we are kind of uh, lucky to get that for christmas since christmas is coming now so we could actually see that and i guess you have already seen <laughs> so yeah now heading towards some other museum probably towards the bruker museum we'll have to see because dalemdorf has totally three museums yeah so i need to see but i guess bruker museum next and this museum is actually very close to the fry university at berlin which is you know just going out from here and then uh, on the right so yeah it's quite easy to reach also and very near to my house so now i'm going to go to the bruker one but first a bit of coffee and guys there is yet another museum uh, near to the um, bruker museum that is the kunsthaus dalem kunsthaus means art house um of dalem that is uh, dalem dorf of course so uh, we will be going to both these museums right now but it's a 30 minutes journey and in involves one train and a bus i'd thought that uh, since it's in dalem dorf it will be close but seems like dalem dorf is a big place so yeah and quite a place with a lot of trees so and also the fry university in berlin so it's a nice place but now onwards to the bruker museum and kunsthaus dalem guys that was um, the bruker museum and the kunsthaus dalem the <laughs> i had a pretty tough time finding the entrance of kunsthaus dalem to be honest because it was through their cafe yeah and they did not mention it anywhere in the boards so it was uh, difficult for me to find it but anyway now that we have found it and we have finished touring it um i i would like to say that um this is bruker museum and uh, kunsthaus dalem does not exhibit a lot of things but they do and the artworks are nice yeah so now heading towards another very very big museum like the gemolde gallery but it uh, it is named the uh, museum for naturkunde that is um, natural history museum and yeah so we'll be there like in 43 minutes one bus and two trains so let's see
So guys, here they have preserved specimens of around like 1000 and 2000 in quantity. Like this is huge and massive. So guys, that was it. Um, two days of uh, tours in different museums in Berlin, and I hope um, you all enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so we'll meet again in the next vlog, and do like and share this vlog, and to subscribe to my channel if you're new. And bye bye until the next one.